Good morning. Welcome back to All Seasons Channel. Today, Cameron and I are going to be working on this toy hauler behind me. Uh, we're this uh, gentleman that owns this was in an accident uh, earlier this summer. Uh, he was sideswiped by a car on the highway and um, done some damage over here on the, on the driver's what would be considered the driver's side if you're sitting in your vehicle towing this. The left side is the driver's side. Um, tore up the what uh, most manufacturers consider the J wrap. Um, the fiberglass sided campers almost always, or I guess, do always have um, a piece of metal at the bottom that is in a J shape. That's hard to do backwards in a camera. J shape, anyhow. Um, and uh, so we're going to replace that. And it also tore the axles up, being a wheel up. Uh, probably take make two videos. The first one will just be on the uh, replacing the J wrap, and then the other one will be doing the axles. So. Let me show you what happened when the car sideswiped him. Here's the uh, Starbright uh, diamond plate pattern, um, J wrap, and uh, you see the tire mark. And uh, it's got a really big crease. It probably doesn't show up on the camera. Got the water heater door. Here's the axle, knocked the axle. Broke the, broke the center bolt out of the axle on everything. And got the fender skirt. We got a new fender skirt. And got the J wrap back here. So we're gonna re replace an old J wrap. Got this corner a little bit too. I think we're just gonna try and straighten it up best we can. Here's the crate with our new J wrap in it. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Feel free, man. Put the packing slip inside. It's kind of sneaky. Oh, yeah. it's the packing slip. That's my invoice. Four hundred and eighty-four dollars shipping and handling. Four hundred and eighty-four dollars shipping and handling. The metal was only two hundred and ten dollars. This is our leftover, so let's see. that's extra. Here's our two pieces of J-wrap. Uh, this ain't actually a J, it's just a, a, a little bend. And uh, this is supposed to get us all fixed up over. Yeah, these two pieces, $210, $484 ship and handling. And it'll be uh, it'll be real shiny once we get the protective paper off of it too. Uh, we're gonna get started here. Uh, first thing we gotta do is get this piece of molding off so we can expose the screws that hold this J wrap on. This is just a plastic cover over a piece of trim. Just kind of get it started. It's a little cool today, so you gotta watch. This stuff can be a little bit brittle. Getting it started is sometimes the hard part. Once you get it started, it should come off pretty good. Just a piece of plastic trim that snaps on this piece of aluminum trim. And here's all our screws that hold our J wrap on. Camera's gonna start taking these screws out and I'm gonna go start getting the rest of that uh, plastic trim off. Once the camera gets the screws out, this just falls off. I'm gonna go ahead and get that water heater door off there. It's gonna be replaced too. And it's uh, a couple of the screws go in our uh, J wrap too. Camera's just gonna finish getting them screws off all the way down the camper. We're gonna have to take a little bit of this corner trim loose too for you know, a foot and a half or so. This is just a plastic 
screw, what they call a screw cover. It covers the screws in this trim. So we don't have to take much of that off because again, this stuff can be brittle. So gotta be careful not break it. We just need to take uh, I don't know, a half a dozen screws out of this trim and then we'll be able to get to this J-Wrap. All right, now Cameron's gonna get those uh, few screws out of that corner trim. All right, we got a few screws out. Now I'm gonna use the old screwdriver right out see if that frees up our J wrap they always staple it too so we got to go around and get these uh, get these stapled out hopefully not many looks like there's maybe one ever four or five feet I hope I think it's called a tack puller. I bought this thing years and years ago at, uh, I don't know, it's a Baltimore, so you know, it's a high quality tool. Um, this thing works awesome for these staples. It's hard to do this where you can actually see. But... It just works awesome for these staples. We're just gonna go down through there, get the rest of those staples out. They all look just like that one, so we're just gonna get them all out, and then this J wrap will come off. Four hundred eighty-four dollars I paid for crate and freight, so we're gonna use this crate. We're gonna use it for a table. We're gonna take our metal out, flip this over, and use it for a table to work off of. an awesome table. We'll get those two two fours out of the way and make even a better table. That folks is how you build a $484 table right there. It's nice, ain't it? We saved the old metal, we'll use it for a pattern. It's just got some angles we need to cut. We need to cut out around for the water heater, another angle on that end, so We'll just, uh, we'll use this one for a pattern. As long as you just very gently lay it on your new metal and don't slide it around and stuff, it's fine. Works perfect. So uh, we're just gonna get this marked out and then I'll show you uh, cutting it. We're actually gonna use a, since we're in the garage, we're gonna use a air tool for that. That's better than the manual tool. So we just laid the old piece of metal on top of the new piece of metal. Got our, got our marks, got an angle on each end. We got the water heater relief to cut that's it it's pretty simple we're just going to use a air shear to uh, cut this with a whole lot easier than doing it by hand and i we may have to take the plastic protecting off this to cut it i don't know it may gob up but if not we're going to leave it till, till the very end gonna be loud i'll probably just cut the i'll just cut the uh, sound off or cut it way down or something That makes life a lot easier. None of these cuts have to be perfect because they're all underneath trim. So uh, they just need to be really close. Uh, you don't want the metal to be too long or too short basically, because you just you need these edges to be under your trim and hidden so nobody can ever see how bad or how good you did cutting it. So uh, we're just gonna get the other one cut. Um, and then uh, we'll start reinstalling so we'll be back for that all right we got our uh, we got our new metal cut and uh, we just need to do some cleaning up here so we can install it uh, we got to get some of this old sealer um, scraped off and stuff so we're gonna start on that sometimes this stuff 
will just pull right off. A lot of it will. Hopefully most of it. We got about 24 feet of it to do. So we hope most of it will come off like that. But I'm just gonna go all the way down the side doing that. I know we didn't show up. We just stuck the new metal up there. Stuck a couple of small screws that'll be behind that trim. Actually, we might end up, the way that trim's made after I think about it, we might end up having to actually take those out and stick, put a staple in there. But, you know, we just got stuck up there so it don't fall off on us. Got this done. And even got, I didn't really show it, but that corner was pretty mangled up. So, got it straightened out pretty good. I guess now, I'll show you what it's going to look like when we pull the protective paper off of it. See that? Shiny. See? It's going to be pretty. Now we just got to put our aluminum trim back on. And uh, that's just put it back on putting the screws in it. Ain't going to show you that. I just used the wrong screws here. I should have used, uh, used these screws. They'll fit almost flush, and uh, that'll that'll work. So, take them five or six screws out and put these ones in their place. There we go. See, that'll be fine. Now right, we're just gonna go down through here and do the rest of them. All right. Now we got to put this screw cover back on. This stuff's pretty stiff. Uh, it's not a really warm day here. It's like 60, but if it were 90, this stuff would work oh, go on a lot easier than it will today. All you do is start on one end. It should kind of snap on, but like I say, it's it's pretty chilly today, so probably not going to be a lot of snapping. Going to be more of bending it backwards a little bit to, to flare it out and just push it on. Just like that. See, when you bend it, it kind of just flares it out. So it'll go on that piece of aluminum trim. Say so if it were hot today, it would probably just snap on. I hadn't actually planned on it, but I'm gonna see if I can get some that screw cover locally at one of the dealers. Um, Cause that, this screw cover looks horrible. So, especially uh, a piece there in the middle. So I'm gonna see if I can get some new screw cover. So, uh, we'll let you know about that. Sometimes when you're ordering fender skirts and stuff, nothing matches exactly. So, uh, we had to drop this fender skirt down a little bit. And uh, we're going to have to drill new holes. And we'll just cover these up with silicone. That's the great thing about silicone. It'll cover up things like this. Uh, I know it's kind of in the dark, but your J-Wrap typically will have a, a few aluminum braces. They just make them out of a piece of aluminum trim. Uh, just to keep uh, keep this metal from flapping when it goes when you're going down the road. So we're going to get uh, get those braces put back in, and uh, we'll carry on. I'll show you this one. Try to. Like I say, these just all these dudes keep that keep that J wrap from flapping going down the road. So we're just going to shoot a screw in this here. Try to anyway. Try to anyway. Yeah, you can't help it. Ain't you? Okay. It's just. Just like that, and then we'll just take. Bend that up so you can't see it. There you go. Keeps this metal from flapping when you're going down the road. Now we got like uh, three more of them to do, and uh, we'll be back. All right, well, here's the finished product. Um, all but the new screw cover. I've got to see if I can get some of that uh, fender flare. Uh, we had to move it down a little bit, but that's okay. Those holes are close enough to where we can cover them up with silicone. Uh, be no big deal. Um, you know, I mean, just all you can do is the best you can do. Uh, that's as close as 
that's as close as I could come to the fringe skirt that was on there. And uh, yeah, that's that's all you can do. Uh, like I said, we've got to finish this screw cover, but all of our all of our braces are underneath. Now we're gonna put the water heater door on. And uh, as soon as we get our uh, our new screw cover, we'll get all this stuff siliconed. And uh, yeah, we're gonna move on. I got some new screw cover. Um, this looks a whole lot better than the old stuff. And uh, I'm happier with it. And I believe everybody else will be too. Um, one thing we got left on this to finish up this uh, J-Wrap now is uh, just silicone. Uh, we're going to silicone that corner up there, um, just what we disturbed. The top of this screw cover, uh, the, of course the water heater door, and our fender skirt, the top of it. And uh, that'll be it. So uh, we're going to get that mask off and uh, silicone that and the J-Wrap will be finished. Cameron is finishing up the masking on this side and uh, as soon as we get the masking done, we're going to start siliconing. Here's the, oh, here's the masking around the door. Now we're only doing the tops. Um, when you're sealing a camper, typically, um, let's say you were doing this window right here. Typically you would only do the top and the sides, not the bottom. That way, if the, I mean, the theory is if any water does get in there, it really needs a place to get out. But whether that's true or not, I don't know. I've just always done the tops and the sides. So uh, we're going to be able to cover up. Remember where our new fender skirt, remember where our new uh, fender skirt and our old fender skirt are different sizes. Uh, so we'll be able to cover up those holes. Let's go see how Cameron's doing. What do you think, Cameron? Think it'll work? Yep. All right. All right. Well, all the masking's done. So we're going to start uh, slathering on some silicone. All right. Now we just slather on the silicone. After you slather on the silicone, you just smooth it up. And then start pulling your tape off where you can. Be careful not to pull it off somewhere where you haven't actually siliconed yet. I'll go around and show you finished product here in a minute. All right, siliconing is done. Get around the water here door. And there's where we covered up those old screw holes in the uh, fiberglass. So, yeah. Turned out nicely. Well, we finished the J-Wrap and the screw covers and we silicone it all up. It looks really nice. Uh, just don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching. What are we gonna do next? Work on those axles. We're gonna stay right here and we're gonna finish up the axles next. So y'all have a fantastic day.